What's up, everyone? This is Ninja Death Strike bringing you another Wi-Fi battle. This is a rematch with my friend Chaos from PLO. So this time I'm going to be the one using the Sandstorm team, and he's going to be using a different team that he has. So I'm going to lead with Titar, get my sand up, and he leads with what I think is a Volcarona. So that was great for me. I have a Choice Scarf Titar. I was hoping to be able to catch him off guard and kill that thing off before I really had to deal with it. But it turns out that instead he had a Zorark. So Volcarona is still alive, and you're going to see in a minute it's going to give me big problems. Anyhow, he brings in his Scissor after I kill his Zorark, and then immediately switches right into Volcarona, which was a great prediction, and I'm left with a really bad matchup. However, I don't think he's going to use the obvious fire move, so I stay in and leech seed it, and that's going to be vital because my team really, really doesn't have a good day, a good way to deal with Volcarona. So my only hope is to just stall it out. So I get leech seed on it. Here I'm going to switch out, expecting him to go for the fire move now, but instead he goes for Quiver Dance, and now I'm really in trouble because now even though. Tyranitar has a Choice Scarf, he's going to be able to outspeed, and he's definitely going to be able to one-hit KO if he goes for Bug Buzz. Predicting the Bug Buzz, I'm going to go back to Ferrothorn here and hopefully be able to absorb it, which, as you'll see, I'll be able to take it fairly well for plus one. I guess it does about half. And this next turn, I'm just going to protect to get a little bit of Leftovers recovery as well as stall it out with Leech Seed. So now... It's almost dead, or it's almost going to be dead after this turn, and I'm thinking I can just switch around and stall it out for a few more turns, and then I'll be all set to continue with my game plan. However, you're going to see on this move, Chaos is going to do something I really didn't expect. He has rest, so even though it was almost dead, he rests up and gets all of his health back, and he has a, a Chesto Berry. So he's going to wake up, he's still at plus one, and now he's at full health. I was willing to sacrifice my Ferrothorn here. I didn't expect him to rest. I expected him to just attack. So I stayed in and I at least got a layer of spikes up. But now Volcarona is at almost full health again and I have to start the whole process over. So I'm going to spend the next few turns just trying to stall it out. I go to my Re Reuniclus here just to sacrifice it. I really don't have anything that wants to take a hit from a plus one Volcarona. And so that was that move was honestly just to get in a little bit more residual damage. And now I bring in Spike again. I protect as he misses his attack. So I'm going to get some more Leech Seed, some more Sandstorm damage, and bring it down to just over half. And so I think at this point I decide to go into my Jalescent. Yeah, I go into Jalescent. Uh, I really should have done this earlier. I don't know what I was thinking, but... Jalescent's really going to be able to shut it down. I was worried about him using more Quiver Dances and then just overpowering Jalescent and essentially sweeping the rest of my team. But now I'm in a pretty good spot. I know it can't heal again without giving me free turns. And I know that both of its stab moves and its only attacks are not very effective. So even at plus two, uh, after that Fire Dance boost, Jalescent's still going to be able to sponge that damage and just recover it off. So Curse Body comes into effect here. It disables the, I think it disables Bug Buzz. I would have rather had it disable Fire Dance, but it doesn't really matter as the moves are essentially the same power. And as you can see, I'm just going to keep recovering and stall it out because I know Chaos, his only two choices are to just stall it out until it dies or to rest. And without that berry, it's going to be sleeping for two, two turns in which case I can bring Titar in and either force it out or just take it out with a four times effective Stone Edge. So I just keep recovering here. He keeps going for Fire Dance, I guess just waiting for it to die, basically, because it can't do anything. He gets a useless special attack boost there. And I, I'm going to recover on this turn. Sandstorm's finally going to take it out. And I was so happy when that thing died because my team really has a problem with Volcarona. Um, if I lose Jalescent, it will basically sweep, less, sweep the rest of my guys unopposed. In comes Scissor. I don't care what Scissor wants to do. It can't hurt me. So I'm just going to will the will a wisp it. And now it really can't hurt me. You'll see this next bullet punch is barely going to do any damage. And I'm not threatened at all 
So I'm just going to stay in, let, absorb the bullet punch, curse body takes effect, and since this scissor is choice banded, he's locked into a move they can't use, and that's going to force him into struggle. But you'll actually see on this next turn, struggle is going to do more damage than bullet punch was, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, but chaos realizes that his scissor is useless. He's just going to stay in until he struggle kills himself. And I know that now I'm in a really good position because I have that T-Tar and nothing else on Chaos's team is going to appreciate taking a Stone Edge from it. So down goes Scissor and in comes his Hydreigon. I'm worried about a Dark Pulse here, so I'm going to go right back to T-Tar. And instead he goes for Draco, or Me Draco Meteor. I was a little bit worried about how much damage that, that this was going to do, but it actually does less than half and I have no HP or defensive investments in this T-Tar, so he tanked that hit like a beast. And then I just go for Stone Edge. Like I said before, nothing on Chaos's team is going to appreciate taking that hit. I get a useless crit here. It really wouldn't have mattered, as that's a super effective attack coming off of uh, max, max Attack T-Tar. So down goes Soliopede, or however you pronounce that. He brings Hydreigon back in and just U-turns out to his Dragonite. Unfortunately, Stone Edge misses here. Uh, I guess I was overdue for it. It did hit twice in a row, so, you know, three times in a row would be too much to ask. It's too bad, though, because um, Dragonite's Sash was actually broken on that switch in, but now he's going to be able to get a Dragon Dance up thanks to Multiscale and outspeed me. I was really surprised when he roosted here. That could actually cause a lot of problems because if he just keeps roosting, he can he would have been able to PP stall me out of Stone Edge, and I probably would have missed again, meaning that he could have killed Tyrantar and then had nearly full health after the leftovers kicked in. Uh, but I guess they would have gotten neutralized by Sandstorm. Still, he could have had a lot more health than he ended up with, and it's going to allow me to bring in my own scissor and just re revenge kill it with a bullet punch. And at this point, he only has Dragonite and Hydreigon left, and I know Scissor is going to wreck both of them. So he takes down uh, Dragonite without a problem. I'm going to leave him in here. The Hydreigon is Scarfed, but it doesn't matter since Bull Punch is going to do almost three-fourths. And I just absorbed the Fire Attack. It doesn't matter. I can afford to sacrifice Scissor at this point. And I'm just going to go back into my Jalescent and finish him off with an ice beam so good game chaos it was a lot of fun um i guess we're tied 1-1 now so we'll have to get a deciding match sometime here in the next couple of days thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed it i'll have more videos coming your way soon